Can the North Atlantic Current really collapse just like it did in Hollywood's blockbuster The Day After Tomorrow? Yes, it can, just like it has in previous ice ages. But recent headlines are making it seem a lot more doomsday than it actually is. If you haven't heard about it yet, a new study suggests that the Atlantic Meridional or Returning Circulation, AMEC for short, could collapse anytime between 2025 and 2095. It's all because of human-caused climate change, accelerating the melting of Greenland's ice cap, which is releasing an excess of freshwater and smothering the currents. That's literally the premise of the day after tomorrow. The Amec is a large system of ocean currents that carry warm water from the tropics into the North Atlantic Ocean. And if the system were to collapse, it could bring a deep freeze to Europe and drastic rising sea levels to the U.S. East Coast. The study suggests a climatic tipping point, meaning the point of no return, is estimated to happen around 2050. So that's the reason why I say some of these headlines seem like a bit too much. Because some are claiming that this is likely to happen in a year and a half. Scientists are actually trying to reassure the public that the uncertainty and the underlying data are too large to properly establish a timing estimate. That being said, we should care about this and push our governments and corporations for rapid cuts on our emissions, which is the root problem of all this. Because AMIC collapsing might not be a problem of today, but it does leave you wondering, where will you be the day after tomorrow?